Welcome to MMA in the Heartland. I'm Wade Bowser and I'm going to talk to you about judges scoring and decisions and help fix some misnomers out there. The major thing I'm going to start with is the difference between a unanimous decision and a split decision. Uh, everywhere from looking around on the internet, on comments, on videos, articles, and out in the world, uh, a lot of people have a misconception, I believe, of what they mean. Uh, a lot of longtime fans might know, but even some don't. Several years ago, uh, I was working for a small promotion in Salina, Kansas as the matchmaker, got all the fights set up, and the night of the fights, there was a really awesome amateur fight that went on. Uh, these two guys battled out, it was a close fight, there was an obvious winner, one, one every round, but each round was a good fight. He didn't dominate it. And everybody seemed pretty happy. I was walking around around the crowd. It's a smaller event and uh, just trying to see how the crowd's doing. And I noticed there was a small group of people that were visibly distraught. And I went over and it was the family of one of the fighters, the fighter that lost. And they were not angry that they're, that the, about the judges, the final decision that their child lost, but they thought it was a close fight and thought it was an insult that it was an unanimous decision because I believe there's a misconception that that means it wasn't a close fight or whatever, that split decision means it's a close fight, unanimous decision means it isn't. That is absolutely not the case. A unanimous decision merely only means all three judges scored it with the same winner. A split decision means there was a difference of opinion between the three judges, two to one. And I've seen fights that came out of split decision that weren't all that close. And I've seen unanimous decisions uh, and the fight was close as hell, but somebody has to win. Uh, draws are very rare and I can tell you why scoring a draw is, I'll hit that later in the video. Next, I'm gonna talk about the 10 point scoring system in MMA and most combat sports. When see, people see the scores, they think they see the whole tale of the sto story and it's being told wrong. They see a 30-27 in a fight that was very close and they see a 29-28 in another fight that wasn't as close. Well, somebody in the 30-27, somebody won all three rounds. All three rounds were close and but it's still 30-27, the person who lost, who fought a close match, didn't win one of the rounds. In the 29-28, that doesn't mean the fight was any closer. That means he could, that person could have been dominated badly for two rounds, but not quite enough to give a 10-8 round, and, but they slightly won another round. But as an overall, they weren't nearly as close as the fight with the 30-27. Don't get hung up on the judge's score, just what the final decision is. The scoring is not always a direct representative of how good the fight was, and it won't be. There is no perfect scoring system. This one works for the most part. And don't get too tangled up in the numbers. Next, when you see a split decision, the immediate assumption is one of the judges was just way in left field. And that is sometimes true, but know that it isn't always. What you have to understand is they have three judges all in completely different positions and they don't all see the exact same thing and that's important um, anybody even if you can't relate with the judges anybody who's ever been cage side or at just a really good close seat at times during that fight or that event you have the best seat in the house but sometimes you don't if they get over in the right corner at the right angle you can't even see what's going on and every one of those judges have a different angle and especially on ground wars and everything else and it's really hard sometimes for the judges to get it right if the fight was at the right position for that judge during the whole time they've got to give their honest opinion on the view they have they can't go coordinate with the other judges see what they saw that would defeat the whole purpose of having multiple judges so in judges defense sometimes when you see a split decision understand that it could be just the position of where the fight or some of the main points of the fight were. I'm not defending judges, all judges though, there have been judges that I just don't understand what they saw. Always try to remember when you're looking at the judges call, most of the time, especially if you're watching on TV, when you're watching Bellator, UFC, PFL, Invicta, there's multiple cameras, sometimes as many as six I'm guessing, I don't know the exact number and all the time it's switching between the best possible angle. They don't have that view. The next thing I'm gonna to talk to you about are draws. 
10, 10, 10 rounds are just about, if probably not more rare than 10, eight rounds if you, uh, in scoring with most commissions. And there's a good reason for it. Uh, there's a lot of rounds that could easily be called a 10, 10 round, but if judges get in the habit of doing that, it's gonna snowball. When you see a close round and you're like, God, I mean, I can't figure out who won that. Well, the judges are having the same problem and they're doing it as a profession and it affects the fighters and it would be really easy every time a round isn't completely dominant to just say that's a 10-10 round and the commissions have to push them to try their best to make a decision and give a 10-9. 10-10 rounds are relegated to situations where there's just no separation in it and there's a lot of factors to bring in but sometimes things are incredibly even and it can be condoned to be a 10-10, but it, that has to be a rare decision by a judge. Or it will cause a snowball effect that will affect the sport. The last thing I'm gonna to talk to you about today is scoring. Scoring in MMA is a giant chaotic mess. It, it's a circus, it's hard. You have takedown strikes, significant strikes, octagon control, uh, holding top position. There's a lot of factors to bring in, escapes and it's very complicated and different commissions are going to weigh different th things differently even the same commission you might see discre what you believe is discrepancy between how they scored a last fight even just the basic concept of scoring overall throughout mma has evolved um 15 years ago there could have been a fight and you'd have the same three judges judge that fight and judge it today and they'd score it differently even if the fight was going it doesn't mean they're incompetent just the the values of different things have changed one because recognizing different important aspects of the game that weren't being recognized in the scoring before and just kind of for the excitement uh, no one wants to see somebody spam takedowns and then just hold them down and do nothing and so they're expected to do more than that so takedowns is one of the biggest examples there was a time where you could get outstruck on your feet but if you did four takedowns the judge would consider those four takedowns like gold and boom you won that round but now you have to do something with the takedowns uh, and a good escape counts too so if, you, if you've got a fighter going in there doing a takedown and within two seconds somebody does escape gets up that escape counted for the other fighter too when you're trying to score things so yes they got something for the takedown but then you got to look at it as they lost a little bit on the other side if if they want to significantly gain advantage in the scoring for that round they have to do something with the takedown when in the past that wasn't always so so always know that the scoring system is complicated and it's evolving and there is no easy answer to having the perfect way to score. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the subscribe button if you're interested in seeing our future content.